Help meets, help meets, help meets. It is early. It is early. It is early for some of you, even earlier. Some of you will be watching on replay. And it is time to rise up. It is time to rise up. It is time to cover the kings. And today we're going to add a little for uh, the help meets also. Does not mean we don't cover ourselves Come sometimes when we get weary. Sometimes when we get tired, sometimes when we're 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 frustrated, uh, we definitely still have to cover the kings. We definite I definitely encourage you to pray for yourself. So when I'm covering the kings, it does not mean that we neglect praying for one another, that we neglect praying for ourselves. So it is time for the army to get up early, to rise early. When you're referred to as an army, and that is literally the term that God gave me, my help meets are an army. And you're going to hear more and more about this army, and I'm going to be doing some specialized training. But yesterday, I was reminded that I needed to do another morning prayer. So how interesting is it that God is pushing me to do more morning prayer I'm going to be teaching and training people how to do warfare prayers, warfare prayers for their husbands, for their kings, warfare prayers for themselves, warfare prayers to take back what the enemy has attempted to steal because some things have not been stolen. Some things he is attempting to take, attempting to steal. And we have to get to a in a position to realize I have a unique set of skills. I have a unique set of skills. So I am happy anniversary, Trish. Um, we want to make sure that we are, are, are connecting together and healing ourselves. So this Friday, I have a webinar, but I don't want to get too far into that. Go to GeraldineVet.com. You do not want to miss this webinar. It will be more and more about healing, more and more about, um, and you have an opportunity at the end of the webinar to hear more and more about the Help Me Army. But let's get started in prayer. Make sure you're um, putting up some of your prayer requests. I may not be able to say them during the prayer, but we will be looking. My husband, my king is on. Um, my husband and I will be looking through and calling out names and calling out prayer requests as well. Um, but we do have counseling. We have information. Go to GeraldineVet.com. But let's get started, Help Meets. I get excited about Help Meets coming on early. Help Meets raising up, rising up early to join me in prayer, to join me in canceling the enemy. So let's get started. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you, God, and we praise you, Lord God. We first ask you to forgive us, God, of any of our sins, anything we've said, done, or thought wrong, anything that was out of your will, any disobedient act. Father, we know you are forgiving, God. You are the God that forgives us as far as the east is from the west. So we ask you, Lord God, to forgive us in any way, Lord God, if we have, have offended you, Lord God, if we have offended the Holy Spirit, if we have done things that are out of your will, if we have been disobedient, God, we know you are a forgiving God. So thank you, God, for, for forgiving us for all of our sins. Lord, we come to you boldly as a help me army. We come to you, Lord, covering the kings, God. And today, Lord, we're also going to be covering ourselves. Father, we know that you hear our prayer because the prayers of the righteous availeth much. We're decreeing ahead of time that we are the righteous. We are your righteous help me army ready because you have given each and every one of us a particular set of skills, a unique set of skills, a unique set of skills, as you have said to me in my, in my quiet time, that you have given each of us a unique set of skills specifically set in place for our priest, prophet, and king. So God, raise up our unique set of skills so we may continually cover our families. We can continually cover our kings. We cancel every assignment that may try to come against the kings now in the name of Jesus. We declare our priest, prophet, and kings, our, our future priest, prophet, and kings are covered under the blood of Jesus. And there is absolutely no weapon that is formed against them that will be able to prosper. We stand guard over our families and say that we are a weapon of mass destruction because 
the death and life you said is in the power of the tongue. So we are using our tongues. God, we are using our tongues to speak life over our priest, prophet, and king, regardless of our circumstances concerning our relationship, regardless of if, even if we've ever met them. We speak life over our priest, prophet, and king. We speak life over their, their decision making. We speak life over their future. We speak life over their finances and we cover them, God. We send angels of protection. God, we have the authority to send angels of protection to our kings in the name of Jesus. We raise up this morning and say our kings are covered under the blood. Our kings will not be hindered in any way. Hurt, harm, or danger, you have no right to enter into to the lives of our kings in Jesus name as they drive cars as they go to work as they as they are among other people they are a, have a hedge of protection thank you God for the hedge of protection not only around our priest prophet and kings but around our entire family and around us in the name of Jesus I thank you for that hedge of protection Pro cover the kings from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet God Thank you for their mind being connected to you. We cancel assignments of them doing things that are outside of your will. Lord, we speak having a right mind, a spiritual mind, the mind to cover their families, the mind to do your will. Give them a desire, an unquenchable desire, God, to seek after you, to seek after your, your, your glory, to seek after your presence. God, I speak to every priest, prophet, and king, and I say they have a desire to please God. They have a desire to get closer and closer to God. They have a desire to do your will. I bind every assignment of the enemy that is causing distraction to come against them, that is causing a distraction to keep them from being with their help meet suitable, causing them to be distracted from their children. I bind distraction in Jesus name. And I say, you are an assignment that is now sent to the pit of hell and nothing shall in any way hurt or harm them from their destiny and their purpose. The Kings are raising up the priest, prophet and King in every man is rising up now in the name of Jesus. Every priest, prophet and King whose name is on the screen. Even for those who are called out into the atmosphere, they are covered. They are, they are healthy, they are wealthy, and they are wise. We're decreeing that they are kingdom men raised up to do your will. They are kingdom men following in your mindset, following your word, following your will. They are reading the word. They are studying the word to show themselves approved. I thank you, God, that every gift that you place on the inside of the priest, prophet, and kings in the name of Jesus is raising up. I thank you that they have, 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 connected with other priests, prophets, and kings. I thank you, Lord, for the right mentors, the right leaders, the right churches, the right covering in the name of Jesus. And even, Lord God, if they haven't entered into a body of Christ yet, we speak that they will find exactly the individual to help them line up. I thank you that they're coming together and they have prayer partners. They have those who will keep them accountable. We speak in accountability over every priest, prophet, and king in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I thank you, God, that they have the accountability needed to raise up into the next level of their spiritual knowledge, their spiritual uh, training, their spiritual understanding. I speak an understanding, Lord, and all they're getting, they will get understanding. I speak understanding to every priest, prophet, and king now in the name of Jesus. No longer will you be confused about your destiny. No longer will you be uh, uh, confused about what you are to do with your family, what you are to to do in the in the atmosphere, what you are to do in the kingdom. I thank you, God, that their kingdom mandate comes forth. Kingdom mandate come forth for every king in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, for my king. I thank you, God, for Gerald Benton. I thank you, God, for Gerald Benton Jr. I thank you, God, for everything that you have called for him to do. I cover him now in the name of Jesus. Every help me that is suitable. Cover your king now, particularly your king. God, raise up the unique set of skills on the inside of 
me as his help meets suitable. Raise up the particular skills on the inside of me to assist him in pushing him to his destiny and his purpose. I thank you, God, for the deliverance that has already been done and for the deliverance that you will continue to do. I thank you for his health, God. I thank you, Lord, that he has divine health to do your will, to speak your word. I, I say, I speak that his mind is renewed in every area. All things are passed away. So my priest, prophet, and king, I declare that all things have become new. I cover him under the blood. I thank you, God, that he is going from level to level and glory to glory. Nothing will be in his way. I shoot down and stomp down every obstacle that is in my priest, prophet, and king's way. Anything in the way of him being able to see. I thank you, God, that you open the eyes of his understanding. His eyes are open. His eyes are fixed towards you. I say, my, my king's eyes, my king's eyes are fixed toward the goal. He is pressing toward the mark of the high calling in Christ Jesus. So I cast down every imagination and high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. I thank you, God, that I have the authority to pull down strongholds. Any stronghold that's coming after my priest, prophet, and king, you are under my feet now and I stomp you. And not only do I stomp you, but I'm raising up an army that is stomping every hindrance everything that's coming against their priest, prophet, and kings, they are stomping it. They're putting it under their feet in the name of Jesus. It is behind us. It is under our feet. Every assignment that is sent from generational curses, generational curses, hindering my king, you no longer hinder not another individual in our family. I decree and declare that not only am I a generational curse breaker, but my king is a generational curse breaker in the name of Jesus. Things that have hindered our, our path, that hindered us in the past, things that have caused trauma. I speak to every trauma that has hindered a king, that is causing them to have nightmares, that is causing them not to be able to walk in their destiny and their purpose. I bind assignments of molestation. I bind assignments of lust and perversion. I cancel assignments that have, have caused hindrances in the king. I thank you, God, that we can take authority over addictions now in Jesus' name. Addictions you no longer have a hold on the kings at all in the name of Jesus. Addictions to drugs, addictions to alcohol, alcohol. We, we, we tear you up now in the name of Jesus. We say we will not sit by and allow alcohol, drugs, sex, perversion, lust, homosexuality, anything to come against the kings. We step on it now in the name of Jesus. We say their hearts are fixed in the name of Jesus. We place on the breastplate of righteousness so their hearts are fixed towards you, God. Every king's heart is softened. We speak a heart of flesh, a heart of flesh is on, is in every king. I thank you that my king's heart is fixed towards you, Lord. Anything that might hinder his heart, anything that may cause him fear, fear. I speak to you now and we say, God has not given any king a spirit of fear. God has not given any help me to spirit of fear. He's given my king power, love, and a sound mind. He's given me power, love, and a sound mind. I speak power, power come forth, power come forth, power come Come forth now in the name of Jesus. My king has the power to shut down the enemy. My king has the power to speak life into his family, speak life into his finances, speak life into his destiny, speak life into his children, speak life into his marriage, speak life into everything that, that God has for him in the name of Jesus. Power, love, and a sound mind. My king understands love. My king loves me unconditionally. My king loves all people unconditionally. My king studies to show himself approved. Power, love, and a sound mind. I speak a sound mind to every king. I thank you, God, that a sound mind has an individual understanding. A sound mind. There will be no hindrances. There will be no mind blinding spirits. Mind Mind blinding spirits, you leave now in the name of Jesus. My king's mind is clear. My king's mind it is open to the things of God, the ways of God, but I shut his mind down to anything that will cause him to move to the left or to the right. He is a sheep and a, he, he is one that follows after. He is a sheep after God's own voice and a stranger's voice he will not follow in the name of Jesus. He has no fear. He has no fear. He has no fear. And I even bind anxiety or pains of the past, fears of, of past failures, 
Go now in the name of Jesus. We take authority over past failures, past failures that might have hindered the kings in the past, past failures that might have made them feel unworthy. Unworthiness, lead the kings now in the name of Jesus. King, you are worthy. King, God loves you. King, you are the man that God has called you to be. Rise up now in the name of Jesus. Nothing's going to hinder your walk. Nothing's going to hinder you. No, no, no assignment of lust and perversion. The assignment of the strange woman. The assignment of the strange man. The assignment that causes you not to do what God has called for you to do. I speak to it now and I say strange woman. Adultery, lust, perversion. You no longer have a, a hold on the kings. You no longer have a hold on our future kings. Nothing will stop you. Nothing will stop you, king, from being pure, from being holy, from being righteous. We speak righteousness. Righteousness come upon every king in the name of Jesus. Our priests, prophets, and kings are holy. Our priests, prophets, and kings are righteous. Our priests, prophets, and kings only have eyes for their help meets or their future help meets. Those that aren't married, they are coming for their for their future help meets. I speak to them and I say, open your eyes for the one that God has called you to have and be pure. I speak of purity over every king. No longer will you do the things that your forefathers have done that are outside of the will of God. You will do the things that God has called you to do. You are righteous. You are holy, King. The thoughts in your mind from pornography, the thoughts in your mind from lust, I blot them out now in Jesus' name. I thank you, God, that we have the spiritual authority to erase images now in the name of Jesus. Pornographic images, you are erased now in the name of Jesus. We take spiritual authority, the authority that God has given us in the earth to say miraculous things can happen. We are healing. We, 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 are, we are agents of healing now, even emotional healing, spiritual healing, physical healing. We thank you, God, that we can speak healing over our kings now in the name of Jesus, healing from spiritual hurt, healing from um, hurt from the um, pains of the past, healing from things that have hindered them through lust and perversion, lust and perversion. You no longer have a hold. We rip the hold from lust and perversion. We rip our kings from the hands of the enemy. We rip them back now in the name of Jesus. We are not afraid of the devices of the enemy because God says there are twice as many angels on our side than there will ever be demons. So we take those, that army of angels, the army of angels, come help now in Jesus name. When I'm weary, help me angels to pull my, my king out of the grips of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Pull my children out of the grips of the enemy. Pull myself out of every grip of the enemy. Nothing's going to harm us. Nothing's going to hinder us. The kingdom family is coming through. The kingdom family is raised up. The kingdom family we are in position. No longer will we cower back and be afraid to say we are a kingdom family. I know what it looks like now. I know what it looks like now. I know what things may, may look like now, but I'm going with what God said. God said we're a kingdom family. God says I have a kingdom man. God says my priest, prophet, and king is a holy man. He is a man after God's own heart. He is a man doing the will of God. I'm speaking life over my king in the name of Jesus. My king is right Righteous. My king is holy. My king stands straight up against the assignments of the enemy. And he has enough power to cast down enemies, to cast down the, 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 the assignments that have hindered him in the past. I speak an authority over my king now in the name of Jesus. He is walking in, in God's will. He is walking in his call. Nothing's going to hinder him from doing the will of God in the name of Jesus. Kingdom Man, come forth in the name of Jesus. I thank you that my king, Gerald Eugene Benton Jr., I call you out and I say you are the leader that God has called for you to be. You are doing the will of God at all times. You are righteous. You are holy. You have a help meet that is suitable. All your needs are met. You are wealthy. You are healthy. I thank you, God, that every assignment of sickness and disease, we take authority over it now. Sickness, disease, ailments, illnesses, 
You leave now. These bodies belong to God. My king's body belongs to God. His body is healthy. His body is lining up with everything that God has placed on the inside of it. It is working perfectly. Every ailment, you go now in Jesus' name. Generational diseases, you no longer have a place in his body. You no longer have a place in our body. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, God, for the king you have given me. He is perfect for me. He is perfect for my family. Anything that I've said in the past, they may have tried to hinder him, that the devil used to come against him. I take it back now. I speak life over my priest, prophet, and king. I have unconditional love only and eyes only for my priest, prophet, and king. I thank you, God, that times that I was frustrated with him, I I ask you, God, to forgive me in the name of Jesus as his help me suitable. I take back, I erase, and I come against anything negative I may have said against him. out of anger, out of frustration. Heal my heart as a help me so I can do your will. Heal my mind as a help me so I can speak exactly what you would call forth for me to speak no longer. Will I say anything negative against my priest, prophet, and king, my destiny, my purpose? I declare that we are one in the spirit. We are one concerning you. We are one in the spirit, God. In the spirit, you see us as one. In the spirit, you've called us together. In the spirit, you've said that we have things to accomplish in the kingdom. We will accomplish everything that God has set forth for us to accomplish. God, give us the strength. God, you said when we are weak, you are strong. Hey, God, where we are weak, I speak strength to every help me now in the name of Jesus. You have called me to raise up a help me army. And I say those who know they're in the help me army, those who know they need to enlist, those who know they have a unique set of skills, I say your skills are raised up now. I say those skills are sharpened. I thank you, God, that you give us a two-edged sword to put in our hand, to put the spear, put the sword into the heart of uh, the devil that has come against our husband. We're not going to be nice to the devil. The devil hasn't been nice to us. So we're not going to be nice to generational curses. We're not going to speak kindly and softly to generational disease and generational hindrances. No longer. You said the kingdom suffered violent, but the violent take it by force. I take back every assignment that that was used to hinder my king nothing's gonna stop him from doing the will of god nothing's gonna stop him from walking in his his destiny nothing's gonna stop us from being exactly what we have been have been assigned to be by god in the name of jesus i'm using my authority as a help me suitable i am suitable god make me suitable in areas that i'm not suitable heal me from past hurts heal me from anything that has hindered me from doing your will. Heal me, God, and train me in my particular set of skills, my unique set of skills that were made for Gerald Benton, my unique set of skills that were made to help him as Eve was made to help Adam. The help meets are made to help their priest, prophet, and king. Teach me, God, in any area that I may be weak, in any area that I may not understand my weapon, because you put weapons on the inside of me as a help meet suitable to shut down every assignment of the enemy. I shut everything down that the enemy has used in the past. No longer, no longer will I will I be traumatized by my past. No longer will I be traumatized by the things that hindered me from my childhood. No longer will I be traumatized by the lust and the perversion that I was, that those acts that I, were, I was involved in as a youth, those acts that I was involved in as a young adult. I cancel anything that, that has tried to raise up on the inside of me. Anger and frustration and judgment, I cancel it now. And you said, I can take authority over these things. The, the, the thoughts, the dreams, the visions, anything that hinders me from doing your will. God, I send that assignment back to the pit of hell. We are, I am a help meet suitable. I'm raising up help meets that are suitable. I am a help meet suitable and I'm raising up help meets that are suitable. When you walk around and you say I'm suitable, when you walk around and say I'm healed from my past hurts, when you walk around and declare I'm a help meet suitable. So where's that devil? Where's the devil? I'm not waiting for the devil to come after me. 
I'm looking for demons that might be trying to hinder or hide in my mind, hide in my house, hide in my car, hide in my future, hide in my hide anywhere near my children. I'm looking, I'm seeking out. I am not afraid of the assignments of the enemy. I have no fear. I'm coming after you, devil. If you come after my king, that means you're trying to come after me. If you come after my children, that means you're trying to come after me. I'm a help me suitable. I'm the woman that is placed here in this household. I'm the woman that you place to look, to see, to watch as well as pray. God, you said we will watch as well as pray. I'm speaking the ability to watch as well as pray over every help me and every future help me. I'm giving you permission to watch and pray. I'm saying, don't forget to watch. Don't forget to pray. Intercede for your king. Intercede for your family. Intercede for yourself. Watch as well as pray. You better watch for the assignments that the enemy has used in the past. You better watch for the things that have caused your husband to go to the left or to the right. You better watch the things that have hindered you in the past, that have hindered your family. You better watch as well as pray. Watch. I speak a watch anointing over every help me. Open your eyes, help me. Look and see what the enemy is doing and don't cower back. We're on the proactive in the name of Jesus. No longer will we sit back and only be reactive. We are soldiers in the army of the Lord. We are soldiers in this help me army. And we are, we are getting our exercise. We're going to boot camp. We're raising up. We're getting our spiritual muscles. I speak spiritual muscles to every help me that is listening. I speak spiritual muscles to every help me because to be suitable, you've got to have spiritual muscles to be suitable. You cannot get weary and well doing when you get weary, raise up, help me raise up and ask God for supernatural strength. God give the help meets supernatural strength, to speak strength to the king. Give the king supernatural strength right now in the name of Jesus. Replace our, our desire, God, with your desire. What have you desired for your help meets to do? What have you desired for your help meets to assist the kings in doing? What have you desired for this help meet army? God, we are listening. We are getting our assignments from the king of kings. Hey, the king of kings. Yes, God, the King of Kings has given every help me army uh, an assignment, every help me that is suitable. If you are suitable, you have your assignment from the King of Kings. And if the King of Kings said, raise up and pray, if the King of Kings said, cancel generational curses, if the King of Kings said, you don't need to fear the enemy, if the King of Kings said, this is your uh, priest, prophet, and king, if the King of Kings said, this is your husband, if the King of Kings said, stay in your marriage, if the King of Kings said, you can do it. If the King of Kings said all things are possible through Christ, all things are possible, then help me raise up. Do what you have to do. Ask the King of Kings for supernatural ability to pray supernatural ability to come into your destiny, supernatural ability to speak what thus saith the Lord, supernatural ability to remember the word of God, supernatural ability to get the strength that you need to, to speak healing over your body, to speak healing over your mind. I speak to every mind of every help me now in the name of Jesus. And I say your mind is fixed toward the things of God. No longer will you be traumatized by your past. No longer will you look at situations and circumstances that have hindered your marriage in the past. I know there have been some things that, that has caused you some disappointment. I know that there have been some things that you were not happy with. I know this marriage may not be what you thought it was going to be, but line up with God's word, line up with God's will. I speak a supernatural healing over your mind and your emotions. Emotions will no longer take authority over us. Emotions will no longer take authority over our decision-making. I speak a, a spiritual strength over your emotions. Help me. Your emotions will not lead you. Your emotions will not lead you. Your emotions shall not lead your decision making, but the spirit of God lead your decision making. Holy Spirit, take over now. Holy Spirit, give us directions as help me. This army is waiting. This army is raised up. This army, dress right dress. We have our equipment and we are sharpening our skills, our unique skills. God, show us the unique skills that may be sitting dormant. Show us the unique skills we need right now in Jesus' name. 
Thank you, God, for my unique set of skills. Hey, thank you, God, for my unique set of skills that is ready for my priest, prophet, and king, for my family, and for my destiny and purpose. Thank you, God, that you did not count it a, a, a robbery to, to, to make sure that my destiny is, is secured. Hey, I have the skills to make sure nothing comes against my destiny and purpose in the name of Jesus. I'm raising up, devil, and when the help meets raise up, the, the kings have the help that they need to do your will. I'm declaring it. Thy will be done, God. Not our will. Hey, not our will. Help me say that. Not my will, but God's will be done. Not my will, because my will wants to run. My will wants to fuss. My will wants to fight. My will wants to give up. My will wants to get in an argument. My will wants to make faces. My will wants to walk away. My will says I can't do it. My will says it's impossible. My will says my priest, prophet, and king will never come. My will says my priest, prophet, and king can't be a, a kingdom man. My will says I don't know where the king, where, where my king is. My will is out of line with God's will. So right now in the name of Jesus, every help meet soldier, you declare not my will, but God's will be done. Not my will, but God's will be done. I'm saying it again because it needs to get in your spirit. Not my will, but God's will be done. God, what is your will? What is your will? Teach me God to relinquish my will. I speak a relinquishing of my will supernaturally. I'm relinquishing my will. And when you say that, you got you have to be ready for God to download his assignment, download his destiny, download his desires for you. But you better know that when you're walking in God's will, he's got rewards for you. He's got he's going to allow you to to sense the presence of God, the peace of God, the rewards of God, the blessings of God come when we relinquish our will for God's will, not my will. I declare that my king is saying, not my will, but thy will be done. My kids are declaring, not my will, but thy will be done. Not my will. I bind my will from raising up over God's will. Sit back, my will. Shut down, my will. Get under my feet, my will. My will will not lead me. My will will not be what I say into the atmosphere. My will is no longer leading me. My will is no longer what's important. I want God's will. Help meets in the army, they want God's will. And if they're struggling to hear, to know, and perceive, and do God's will, they get their weapons sharpened. They get the training that they need. They get the resources. They get in God's presence. They get on the face they get on their face and lay before God and say hey relinquish hey God you can have it you can have my will God because I want your will and I apologize God for the times that my will superseded your will no 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 my will will not supersede God's will. Not another day, not another hour. God, forgive me for the times that I said, I want my, I want it my way. I bind, I want it my way in the name of Jesus. I cast down, I want it my way in the name of Jesus. I pull down, I want it my way in the name of Jesus. We are raising up. We are rising up. It is early in the morning. We're speaking to the atmosphere. Every help meet in this army is saying, not my will. And when the help meet say, not my will, it will help the kings to say, not my will. That's what we want. That's what we need. That's what we desire in the kingdom is, is, is individuals that have come together to say, not my will. God, what do you need? What do you need to spread your gospel? What do you need to get people saved? What do you need to, to have miracle signs and wonders? What do you need to, to, for, to oper for us to operate in healing? What do you need for us to operate in full deliverance? Full deliverance because he whom the sun sets free is free indeed. How come we're not seeing enough miracles? How come we're not seeing enough healing? How come we're seeing kingdom marriages broken up? It's because we're doing the things that are in our will. God, forgive us for the times we've done things in our will. We submit our will to you, God. We submit our will to you, God. We submit our will to you, God. Teach us, God, to, 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 to circumvent, to circumcise our connection to our own will. God, I thank you for the strength to say, not my will. Hey, I know that's what you want for today. That's what you want for today. That's what you want from your people. I'm seeking God's perfect will. 
God's perfect will does not line up with my, my, my thoughts. Because his thoughts are higher than my thoughts and his ways are higher than my ways. And I give up my will. I give up my will. And the areas in which I haven't given up my will, God, show them to me and give me strength. Show them to me and give me strength to let them go. Show them to me. Reveal them to me in my private time. Reveal them to me through other people. Reveal them through to me in books and, and prophecies, whatever way I need to know. But God, give me the strength to say, not my will. Help me. Today is the last day that your will leads you. Today is the last day. I'm declaring it. I decree and declare that today is the last day that your will is more important than God's will. Today is the last day that your will comes before God's will. Today is the last day that your will supersedes God's will. Today is the last day that you tell God what you want versus asking God what he wants. And he'll give you the desires of your heart. He just wants your heart to line up with him. He knows what's good for you. He knows what he created you for. Help me. He knows who you are. He says you're fearfully and wonderfully made. You can do what I call for you to do. You can be who I call for you to be. Trust me when I tell you. God's will is so much better than ours. His ways are higher than our ways. He's God all by himself. God, forgive the help meets. Forgive the priest, prophet, and kings that have put their desires before your desires. Give us strength, God. Give us wisdom, God. Give us resources, revelation, and insight. Let us band together to know what is your will, God. What is your will for every help meet that is suitable? Every help meet that is suitable. I want you to ask God, what is your will? What is your will, God, for me, for my family, for my purpose, for my destiny? I trust you, God. Oh, Jesus, I trust you. Lord, give us the strength to trust you. When it seems like what we want is better than what you want, forgive us, God. And, and, and we ask you, Lord, to forgive us for not trusting your will. Forgive us, God, for not trusting your will. We relinquish our desires for your desires. We say we no longer put our, our trust in any man or even our trust in our own mindsets. We set our eyes. Uh, we set our eyes toward you, God. And today is the last day that my will is stronger than yours. Mm, I trust you, God. Well, that's good right there. That's a place of worship. I trust you, God. I know what it looks like. I know what it sounds like. I know what I thought in the past, but I'm trusting you, God, and I'm relinquishing my will for yours. I say no longer will my will come over your will. Well, help me. Thank you so much for joining me. That's so good. Not my will, God. Not my will, God. Hey, God, you know what she, I say. I want you to pray in your most holy language because let me tell you, when you relinquish your will for God's will, the devil is coming. So I bind backlash and retaliation. Uh, we, we, we have our eye, we're watchful. Help me to watchful. We're looking for the assignments that'll say I can't do it. We're looking for the assignments that'll say I'm too weak. We're looking for the assignments that say God's will is too hard. We're looking for those assignments. We shut them down early. We shut them down first. You will not, devil, you will not hinder me in, in, in relinquishing my will. You will not cause me to feel like I'm going to be a failure and I can't do it. I bind backlash and retaliation for anyone who is praying that prayer. I cancel it now in the name of Jesus. I say right now that no weapon formed against the help me army will be able to prosper. There's a supernatural protection. The angelic angel, angel army covers the help me angel army. And we thank you for the priest, prophet, and king army coming forward in the name of Jesus. We speak life to the priest, prophet, and king army, but thank you, God, for the, for the angel armies to protect us as we relinquish our will for God's will in the name of Jesus.
in the name of Jesus. No backlash and no retaliation. God, we're excited about knowing what your will is. Yes. Yes, God. We're excited about knowing what your will is. And when we, are, we have put you in a box, we take you out of the box. We take you out of the box in the name of Jesus. We take you out of the box. Out of the box. Out of the box. We're thinking exceeding abundantly above all we could ever ask or think. You're out of the box, God. We think bigger. We declare bigger. We know bigger. We pray bigger. We intercede bigger. We dream bigger. Our vision is bigger. We take you out of the box, God, because we know who you are. And we give up. We give up our right to be right. We give it up. We think we're right. But God, we know ultimately you are God and you are God alone. So thank you, God, that there is no weapon formed against husbands, marriages, kingdom families, and your will. And I thank you for all the help meets that I've placed in my heart. I, I, I have the, the heart of the help meet is in my heart. The healing of the help meet is in my heart. The raising up of the help meet army is in my heart. And I, I pray that you will join me as I am, am preparing to assist more and more help meets by raising up a mentoring program that helps the help meets sharpen their unique set of skills. You'll hear more about it, but tomorrow uh, uh, we will uh, most likely be broadcasting, um, but go to GeraldandEvette.com and follow us on YouTube, Gerald and Yvette Ministries, and Friday, Friday, the 12th of July, because some people see this on replay. The 12th of July is the July webinar. We will be covering all healing, healing from past hurts, healing from past hindrances, healing from trauma, anything that's causing problems with your deliverance. This is what we'll be covering in the webinar on Friday because heal, uh, past traumas are hindering help meets from following God's will, from relinquishing their will to God's will, from, from being able to see and hear God clearly. So if you need help with ongoing healing, you need to sign up for the webinar. The information is on GeraldAndYvette.com. I need as many help meets to get this information. You can't look at God and just say, I think I can't do it, or I don't know. He's sending help. He's sending resources. It's, uh, it's up to us. If you want to give in order to give away um, a place in the webinar, we have lots of help meets that do that each month. I'm so excited to, to speak to that. Um, um, uh, I'm so happy for those that sow seed for other help meets to get training. Uh, but ultimately, you've got to sow seed in your own re, um, training, your own resources, and no longer will we sit back as ministers of the gospel and say, oh, you know, you can't have this, you can't have that. Yes, God will provide and make a way, but we've got to understand there are some things we have to relinquish in order to get what we need. Yes. Everything that we do, you can't have replay. So if you sign up for the webinar and can't make it on Friday at 6.30 Eastern Standard Time, you can pop on late. You Every person will get the replay to get the training that you need for deliverance and healing. This is specifically deliverance and healing that may be hindering you from becoming a help meet that is suitable for the future or the help meet suitable that you need to be right now. Clearing past hurts. Yes, canceling past hurts and knowing what scriptures to use, how to declare over yourself so your past hurts stay in the past. Past hurts have no business stopping you from doing, from doing God's will. That's not God's best for you. That's not exceeding abundantly above all you could ever ask or think. That's not the life. Jesus died so that you may have life and it more abundantly. What you want is abundant life, abundant life. And if past trauma, past hurts, things that you've been delivered from and you don't know how to keep your deliverance, that's what we'll be covering in this month's webinar because so many people have asked. In fact, these webinars, uh, I, I asked individuals that were on the last webinar, what do you need? And one woman said, I got to get past these hurts so that I can be the help meet that is suitable. So you get healing so you can help. 
Go to GeraldineVet.com. Thank you for joining me for the Help Meet Army prayer. I'm most likely going to be doing more Help Meet Army prayers in the morning because God keeps saying get up and pray with the Help Meets. You will hear information next week. We are launching, relaunching the Help Meet Suitable. I'm raising up an army and you will get information all about that next week. I'm raising up training and mentoring. I've been doing a mentoring program for almost a year. And now God says it's time to open up that mentoring program. I need a help meet army. An army of help meets. God is calling forth for the help meets to have the, the, the unique skills trained and ready to go. Trained and ready to go. So look for information coming soon. Follow us. Uh, get to the website, get all the, the, the resources that you need, get my book, Help for the Help Me. It's also available on our website. Well, thank you, Help Me Army. I appreciate you. I love you. Stay connected. Yes, go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. We'll be putting some information, more things on our YouTube channel that's also not on Facebook. So subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Have an amazing day, help meets. Have an amazing day. Yes, my king is saying the help meet SWAT team. <laughs> the help meet SWAT team. It's coming. It's coming. Look for the release of the help meet SWAT team that's going to understand and train to use their unique set of skills. Have an amazing day. Remember, marriage works if you work it.